By the Lakeview Cemetery, we're about to go check out Lucille Ball's grave. We're actually in her hometown of Jamestown, New York. Technically, she grew up in Celeron, New York, but we're in Jamestown. It's all the same thing. If you were around here, you would know. But anyways, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go check out her gravesite. I'm so excited. So when you're in the Lakeview Cemetery, I forgot to mention that you're gonna see these little hearts with an L on them, and that's for Lucy. And so as you go through the cemetery here, you're going to see these little hearts on the ground. And that's how you're going to know where to go. There's a bunch of people are probably wondering, like, how do you find it unless you've been there before? you got to follow the hearts. We're out here. It's a beautiful day in September. Super excited for fall. You can see all the foliage. Yeah. Pump for October. We keep on making our way through here. This is a pretty cool graveyard. Yeah, it really has like, um, kind of like a gothic feel almost. Yeah, it's nuts. There's a real bright one that hasn't been worn down much yet. So you can see we're still following the hearts here. It goes down a ways, it's a little bit of walk, but it's real peaceful and it's cool out here. So it's not bad at all. Dude, I love it out here. It's so beautiful in this graveyard. Yeah, it's so nice. It's really cool out here. I thought I'd just seen an animal run by. <laughs> <laughs> you kind probably did. You me. probably did. Look at this crazy view. Hey, John. Um, I think we just passed her grave. What? Yeah. We better turn it around. <laughs> We better turn it around. So the reason I actually missed her grave is because I was looking at this trash can here. And so I thought it was actually gonna keep going farther here. I was a little caught up with this. That's pretty cool. And here it is over here, folks. Take a look. So as you can see, those little red hearts from earlier make their way over to here. This is the last one before you get to this path here. She is so special. She has her own path. Look at this. Here it is. This is a ball's grave. As you can see, they got flowers for her, and it's a very nice stone. Wow, if you even 
and look closely. Um, I'm not going to touch it, but there's a rock down here and it says, I love Lucy. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Look at that big flower. They really did a lot for it here. Yeah. Crazy fun fact about this, Lucille Ball was originally buried in California somewhere. Yeah, Later she on. was. Um, actually, her family wanted to move her here in the early 2000s so they could all rest together. Lucille Ball's ashes are here. So, there's one other thing we want to show you today, and I personally don't know how to get there. Do you know how to find it, Amanda? I'm going to have to stop and think about that for a moment. If I look we got a little bit of a journey here because there's something else, and it, as far as I know, it doesn't have a nice little path like this. There's also a heart stone here in the brickwork. This way, left or right? I have a feeling we need to go this way. Okay. There are some really, like, unique gravestones here. Very unique. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. This one looks crazy. one I've ever seen. Can you see anything in there? Yeah, it looks like there's multiple uh, like units in here. Oh, there is? Like this is a whole family. I've never seen anything like that. That is insane. Still don't know where this other one is. But we're seeing a lot of cool ones on the way. Yeah. It's Definitely. actually really cool out here. Yeah. Um, coming up, Man. it looks pretty elaborate, doesn't it? It looks a lot like the other one we were just at, but this one's got like a dome on it. You see that dome up there? Oh, printer gas right here. Mm. This is an important one. Um, we had to show. So basically, I did a little bit of research online. I'm pretty sure this is the son of um, the family that started the Pendergast Library in Jamestown. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure they were even like some of the few people who founded Jamestown as well. I have to do a little bit more research, but yes, this is a very monumental grave here. That's crazy. Right before I hit that, just check out this Humphrey. Look at that. 
thing is huge. Amazing. I wonder if it even says. James Prendergast, here rests the remains of the founder of Jamestown. See, I knew it. Wow, look at this. Founders of Jamestown. Just walking up to this is awesome. That's pretty cool. Fenton, also a well-known name in Jamestown. We're gonna go back to the car and then see if we can find this other thing we were looking for. Because we're not finding it on foot. Yeah, this place is huge. <laughs> it would probably take hours to walk around the whole thing. Dude, it's way too big. It's crazy. So, we saw some cool stuff along the way. We're going to head to the car and then let's see, let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. We'll see if we can get it. All right, you know, we're going in a different entrance now in the car to see if we can spot this place. And I need to clean the windshield. find this thing.
But we found okay. it. We're cruising over to it right now. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, this is nutty. You already know we got to get out for this one. Oh my gosh, I really didn't think we were going to find Dude, it. Dude, for a second I thought we weren't going to, but we're definitely going to go check it out now. Check it out. So in case you guys were wondering like what is all the hype about this, that is the dress of a daughter who died. She was the only child and they wanted to honor her by creating this statue and putting one of her dresses on there. Now you'll hear a lot of folklore, a lot of um, legends that it's a woman in a wedding dress. It is not. That is actually to symbolize the daughter who died. Wow. And you can tell it was actually well worn. Look at the bottom. It's starting, you know, to kind of look brown and stuff. That could be from wear and tear. Could be just from being here so long. I don't really know. Wow. We're starting to lose a little bit of our quality because we're getting that low light. As you can see, it is the sunset. I had to show you this before we left. The Lakeview Cemetery. All right, we came here. We've seen the Lucille Ball grave. We've seen the lady in the white dress. There's some other cool things in here to check out too. So if you get a chance, come see it. It's right here in Jamestown. Also, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell because if you're not, you don't know when we're uploading stuff and you gotta know when we're doing that. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and whatever. Smash the like button. Smash the like button, dude. Ah.